Welcome to our installation guide for the Nauticam Komodo underwater housing. To get started, you'll want to first begin by installing the camera. You'll find two housing levers located on each side along the back of the housing. Simply push in the red buttons, move both housing levers outward into the release position, and remove the rear of the housing. Activate the moisture alarm and vacuum electronics by flipping the electronic switch to on. To remove the camera tray, move the tray lever into the release position and pull the tray out. Attach the Komodo to the camera tray and secure it in place using the thumb screw. Next, attach the right side control bracket using the two ratcheted thumb screws. The housing comes with two left side lens release brackets. If you're using Canon R lenses, attach the smaller bracket shown here using the two ratcheted thumb screws. If you're using Canon EF lenses through the Canon EF to R lens mount adapter, attach the larger bracket shown here using the two ratcheted thumb screws. If you're using the Canon Drop ND filter adapter, be sure to also align and lock in the control wheel assembly found on the bracket. With the camera and tray assembled, place it into the housing, and then secure it in place by moving the tray lever back into the lock position. If you're connecting a monitor, be sure to attach the SDI cable to the rear of the camera. Lastly, place the rear of the housing on and rotate both housing levers back into the lock position. To install a lens, begin by attaching the lens to the camera. Move the focus and zoom control knobs into the lock position and perform a quick function test to ensure that both zoom and focus controls are working smoothly. To attach a port to the housing, start by placing the port lever into the release position. Line up the white dot on the port to the white dot on the housing and firmly push the port into place. Then simply move the port lever back into the lock position. If you're using the small HD 502 Bright or the Ninja 5 monitors, please refer to the installation guide on both of those included in the video description below. If you're using the Nauticam monitor back for the Atomo Shinobi, you'll want to begin by first installing the monitor in the housing monitor back. Move the top and bottom monitor holding tabs into the open position. Next, press down on the power on-off control assembly and flip it into the disengage position. Place the monitor in the housing monitor back. Move the monitor tabs back into the closed position to secure the monitor into place. Press down on the power on-off control assembly and flip it back into the engage position. Plug in the SDI cable from the camera to the monitor. It's important to note that when using the Shinobi monitor back, only the Canon BP955 batteries can be used. Place the monitor back onto the Nauticam Komodo housing, and then rotate the monitor housing levers back into the lock position to secure it in place. To pull a vacuum pre-check test, begin by removing the vacuum valve and ensure the vacuum electronics are on and the indicator light is flashing blue. Attach the vacuum pump and begin pumping. You'll notice the indicator light along the back of the housing turning from flashing blue to flashing yellow and then eventually to solid green. Once the light turns green, stop pumping and reattach the vacuum valve cap. And now you're ready to dive. For further information on this product, questions or support, please contact us directly. We're more than happy to help.